also known as Chinchilla Killa, and today we're going to unbox the Orb Weaver Chroma gaming keypad made by Razer. Um, this gaming keypad is great for those who want to enhance your individual game style or even your setup. Um, the specs are excellent on this keypad. Uh, it has 30 interchangeable programmable keys, including macro and backlighting. The backlighting includes about, it literally says 16.8 million customizable lighting uh, uh, options for you. Um, of course, it has a, cus a comfortable grip pad and, and comfortable wrist uh, pad for you to just, uh, yeah. So you guys can see right here, see the light. Nice mechanical keys, nice easy breezy thumb pad, eight directional, four directional keypad right there, a paddle right there, another button right there. Um, to adjust, look for the buttons, simple buttons, just push that here to elongate or shorten the pad. Okay, a uh, button right here, right in between the, on the right side where the paddle's at, you just simply push that to extend out if you have long thumbs, long pads, or long webs. I guess web right in between your uh, pointer finger and your thumb. And last one is on this side, a little button that you just pull out. Make sure you pull it out in case you want to lean forward or back on your wrist. And you just push it right back in to lock it. Um, uh, in regards to lighting, dependent on your profile and how you set it up, it's all customizable. 16.8 customizable colors for you to choose from, including the rainbow effect, ripple effect, or just steady static effects. Um, this is uh, one effect that I have going on for one of my games. Here's another one that I have going on, ripple effect. You can make your rainbows go up and down all around however you want. You can do it on key press, which I have, I think, on here. This is a key press profile I have there. You can make it whatever color you want. You can even make it into rainbows. And then I have also just uh, in between, you know, a solid color going in between um, uh, all the colors of the rainbow in spectrum. So I'll go ahead and play that around. Um, customize it to your liking. It's all up to you. It's all individualized. So don't don't go by what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you a couple of examples. Hope you enjoy that. Let's go to the next scene. Before you plug in your gaming keypad, make sure you download the software uh, from www.razorzone.com. Go to support. Go to peripherals keyboards and keypads scroll all the way down razor or reaver chroma softwares and drivers right below if you're using a mac or windows i use a windows download that since i already have that downloaded and if you do have that downloaded um as soon as you plug it in it should read your profile. Just go ahead and sign in as I have here. After that, make sure you plug in your keypad. And if you've already had profiles saved before with another uh, Razer uh, keypad or keep ward, um, it should save your profiles um, under your uh, created or existing username and profile. So as you can see here, I have different games, Atari, Battlefield, Battlefront. You know, I use a lot of different keys for each game. You can link them to the program. You can always go to the link them exactly to the game file so that when you open your game, it just automatically changes it there. I like to do it manually. Um, you can change your lighting through here. Customize it however you want. Go from here, play around with it a little bit on each key press. You can have one single key press go on. I like using them for all keys. 
rainbow ripple effects, anything you want. There's over 16.8 million customizable colors um, for the keypad. Uh, it also includes a mechanical mechanical game keys for it. You can go with your macros and play around with that. This is a Chrome app to have it on. And then it shows you your stats, exactly what you actually can play around and look at that to see what you usually use your keys for. There you have it. I highly recommend the Orbi Rechroma gaming keypad made by Razer, suitable for any gaming style and any gamer. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them at the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.